My personal favourite video that I've made so far is Sheep on the Line. It has a lot of flaws and it's rendered in 24 FPS because I am an idiot, but I love it nonetheless. But then I was surprised when people were asking me the same two questions about its production. How did you get the models and how did you animate the trains? And today I intend on answering them both. So then first question, where did you get those models? Well that's the easiest of the two to answer. They can simply be found on the Source Filmmaker workshop page. The models I use most are the Great Northern Railway's J26, later reclassified by the LNER as J50, South Eastern and Chatham Railway's C, Great Western Railway Hall Class, which uses the name Hogwarts Express in the workshop, British Railways Class 08, British Railways Class 33, British Railways Standard Class 5, and finally, the British Railways Mark 1 coaches. As you can tell, I mostly use British motive power and rolling stock, but to people who prefer North American locomotives, uh, the workshop has plenty of offers for USA outlined locomotives as well, including the famous Pennsylvania T1. The other question I receive a lot is how did you animate those locos? When you load a model into SFM, you can right click on the loaded asset in this window over here, hover over the import option, and then you'll see another fold out menu giving you the sequence option. Click sequence, you'll be taken to another menu. Here, most locos have four standard sequences, starting, which is just realistic slipping, slow, medium, and fast. Some locos also have a runaway setting, which makes engines, well, you unfortunately have to animate bogey and pony wheels manually as they are not included in the sequence. But the J50 is no 60, so it doesn't really apply here. Once you've loaded in your sequence, you can edit the motion of the model. Remember kids, always use root transform for this. Never select the whole model. To get a realistic start off, I flattened the tangent at the first mark. And to make it look more realistic, I used the motion editor to select a section of time. I then hover over the edge of the selection till the cursor changes to a double arrow, and then I drag it to the left using mouse 2 to slow the motion within the selection down. As this is a steam engine, let's give it a few plumes of exhaust. And now look at the final result. Because I flattened the tangent at the front, the loco gently moves off. Animating diesels, electrics and coaches is a lot easier. The class 33 for example does have bones slash joints in her wheels, but you hardly notice them turning even at slow speeds. You can thusly get away with it if you simply move them around without bothering to animate the wheels. Because of this, I found that the 33 has more control over its movement. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I've checked and even the American outlines can be animated using these steps. I hope I could explain everything in a way that's comprehensible because I don't really do tutorials after all. So go ahead and animate some scenes because we can never have enough SFM terrain animators. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and don't be afraid of failure.